everybody, John Wagdon here with Dev Central, and in this video, we're going to talk about the F5 bot defense solution for mobile apps. And so to set this up, when attackers attack a victim target, they'll use a variety of things, you know, to attack that. And if the attack is coming from a typical like web browser, then the, your bot defense solution can inject JavaScript challenges to see, you know, to make the web browser do certain things. But that's not the case with mobile apps specifically. So you need to kind of approach this in a different way. And that brings us to the F5 Bot Defense Mobile SDK. So I want to just draw a quick diagram here of how the SDK integrates with the mobile application and how, how it interacts with the uh, Bot Defense service and, and all the rest. Okay, so if you have the, uh, if you have the host application here on your, uh, on your mobile device, then you have the F5 bot defense, and I'm just going to put BD right here, um, SDK, right? And then over here you have the F5, F5 bot defense servers that are protecting the origin server, um, you know, of the, of the application that you're trying to uh, protect, right? Okay, so this right here is all within the device, so I'll just put a little kind of a, a bracket around that. Okay, the, uh, the way that, that this whole SDK and app, the, the, the SDK lifecycle, if you will, the way that it works is the first step is what I'm going to call an initialization. So I'll just put init right here, init. And this is, again, inside the device. The host app is going to initialize with the SDK, right, inside the device. And then the second thing is uh, telemetry data. So I'll just put telemetry right here. And so the, uh, the application or the host app is going to get uh, request headers. So I'll just put uh, request, request headers here. And uh, this is the app saying, hey, SDK, I need, I need headers so that, uh, so that then I can send the proper, you know, get request out to the origin server. And so this is the response with those proper headers from the SDK. And then, uh, then the request happens. So I'll just put, you know, request here, right? All right, so then the, uh, then the app makes the request. So this is the, you know, HTTPS request that gets sent out to the origin server. Uh, but first it has to stop here or it, it goes through the F5 by defense server. And so this, is, uh, this has the headers. So I'll just put headers here. It has the headers included in the request that it received up here, right? And so the headers come and they arrive at the F5 bot defense server. And if they have all the proper headers, if everything's uh, correct, then they get sent on to the origin server and it checks out. And then the origin server then uh, responds, right? So it comes back and it says, okay, so now the response has come back from the origin server. All right. And then, which by the way, if you don't have the proper headers, then there's a number of things, a number of actions that can be taken here. You can just block the request, you can redirect and so on. There's a lot of things that you could do. Um, but of course, if everything checks out, then it comes on through and everything's good. Uh, and then the last thing is I'll put parse, uh, parse right here. And so there is a, uh, there's a, a parse, parse the response header. So I'll just say parse. And that goes uh, just here, you know, from the, from the host app to the SDK. And then the request comes back uh, from the SDK to the, to the host application. All right, so that's a bit of a waterfall diagram of how the interaction works and how the, how the process works from host application to SDK and then on out to the origin server that, it's, that it would be accessing, you know, ultimately. Okay, um, one nice thing that I wanted to point out quickly here is on this, uh, this parse, uh, you know, action between the host app and the SDK is that... Uh, there's a, a feedback loop of sorts, and it's unique to this to this mobile offering. Um, and the the feedback loop is is uh, effectively telling the app if the transaction was flagged or mitigated by you know in flight by the F5 bot defense. So that's that's kind of a cool thing. All right, so that's the way that the SDK process works. So then the question is, well, how do we get the SDK integrated, you know, into the application or integrated with the application? And that's where a company called Promon comes in. Promon offers a great solution for integrating the F5 Bot Defense Mobile SDK with your mobile application. And uh, specifically, the Promon SDK integrator is, uh, is integrated 
as a fully automatic post compilation step. It injects the F5 bot defense SDK into the binary code. Uh, no source code changes are required. Uh, it runs on the customer's device. It runs after obfuscation. And then uh, also I'd, I'd point out that app signing is required for, or, or required after the SDK injection. Um, so to integrate this, uh, this F5 bot defense SDK with the application, uh, we have the Promon SDK integrator. So I'm just gonna write, I'll put, I'll put a bit of a kind of a divider here, if you will. Uh, so we have um, the original app, let's say right here, original app. And this is where the, uh, this is where the Promon I'll just put it right on top here. Promon SDK integrator would come into play. Integrator, right? So with the original app, you have the Promon SDK integrator. And then you have the F5, F5 bot defense um, SDK plugin right here. And then you have a, a configuration file. So you have an F5 bot defense config file, and all of these need to be, um, you know, fed together, and I'll just put little lines in here, uh, into um, what's called the Promon Shielder tool. So I'll put Shielder right here, Shielder, Shield, Shielder tool, right, from Promon as well, and the, the Shielder tool enables the Promon SDK, or, or we enable the Promon SDK, I should say, uh, integrator with the Shielder tool, right? And so uh, the Shielder tool's uh, capability allows you to inject the code into an already built application. And then this, this tool takes care of adding the necessary code in the app that initializes the F5 bot defense mobile SDK, right? It also handles request decorating and parsing and those kinds of things that we talked about before. So when all of these are fed into the Shielder tool, then at the end of that, you have the, instead of the original app, you have the app uh, with the um, F5 bot defense SDK integrated into it, right? So I'll just put a big old box around that. Okay, so we've leveraged the Promon capability or the Promon tools uh, to integrate uh, the F5 bot defense SDK into the original app, right? So at this point, you get a new secured app um, easily and quickly, just in a matter of minutes, um, while you know it saves you time and money and engineering resources and all that. So this is a very you know efficient, uh, quick way to do things. Um, I would point out as well that customers can follow the same process with the Shielder tool to enable uh, what's called Promon's or Promon's complementary technology called Promon Shield, and Promon Shield provides additional mobile security capabilities against things like reverse engineering and emulators and obfuscation and spyware and Trojans and code injection and lots more. So there's a lot of, lot of things that, that uh, the Promon Shield can do. Um, so anyway, so that's, you know, suffice it to say, it's important to keep your apps safe from all kinds of malicious bot behavior. And this right here allows you to do all that. So thanks for watching this Lightboard lesson video with us today. If you like this thing, you can click up here on our DevCentral logo and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'll see you guys out there in the community.